This video is synchronizing from a database where we will show you how to have have starting with data in the database on a SQL server on this machine synchronize data from that database through bright server down to the PDA. So I'm going to start off with a BSP uh, that we've already created and I'm going to show you I've got form 1 I've got on form I've got this is the first page on I've got form 2 which is a data bind, binding form cursor form that displays all of the content in table 1 table 1 is a th simple three field demonstration table I've, on form 2 I've got I'm data binding with query 1 query 1 is an unconditional query which gets all of the columns unconditional query which gets all of the output fields from table 1 and form 2 is a cursor form data bound form which is get which is going to display each record in an individual cursor like this so if I go ahead and just run I've got my PDA here and if I just run this application on the PDA I can open form 2 and I have no I have an empty database table because there's no data appearing when I come to form 2 having run the query that's going to give me all the records in table 1 so I'm going to close that out again and also here on table on form 1 I have the synchronize button and the synchronize button is designed to run a synchronization with the server which is going to run sync rule 1 there sync rule 1 simply is a server to client download which uses query 1 again to get all of the tables from table 1 so that that is the end of showing you what the BSP file that we're going to be using is doing now we'll get into the B, the BEP server configuration to show how to download this data to the PDA. So I'm going to create a brand new BEP start from scratch project. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my table definition from my BSP. Another feature I can also use is I can actually import these database tables from the existing database. So I'm going to demonstrate, I might as well demonstrate that. If I delete this altogether, import database tables. First thing it does is it asks me, it's going to offer me the existing connections that I, that I might have. I don't have any, so I'm going to just create one. So I need to give my logical database name and my login credentials, username, password. BrightBuilder is now connecting to the database, which is running on this machine. And so these are all the tables that are, that are, run, that are available on the SQL database, my SQL 2008 database. And so I'm going to select table one to import. and it's imported the table definition for me. Next all, next all I simply need to do is to create a sync point on my sync panel. So I'm going to start logically enough with my database connecting to the same database as before. So this here I'm simply telling Bright Server Mobility Data Mobility Gateway how to connect to this database in order to retrieve data. And then I simply have my client table. So this is the client table Bright Forms representation. And I just draw the arrow in here to signify the direction of the data flow. And I'm done. Now I just need to run Bright Server, so I can simply just right click and hit execute, otherwise I can hit the play button on the toolbar.
So Bright Server is up and running. And I'll show you my SQL Management Studio. I've got my demo database, my table one there. And I'm just going to edit my rows there. I've got simply some data. I'll just add another field. And then, so I've got my live data running, and then I'll rerun my PDA application. So I go to that form that's still empty. This time I'll now hit the synchronize button. Here we can see that Bright Server is sending me two, cha two changed records. If I close on that and now open my cursor form, I can see one, two records that I've received from, from the database. This concludes the video which is showing you how to synchronize data from the database to the PDA. Be sure to check out our other video how-to videos on brightexpress.com.